The Department of Education Region 6 celebrated International Literacy Day yesterday. Leon Susiran reports. So, one morning, Jonathan got up as usual, dragging his feet. And his mother said, Jonathan, today is a special day at school, and you must be happy to go to school. And Jonathan said, I don't know why today is special. And his mother said, well, today, your school will have a special visitor. And Jonathan said, who would be visiting my school? And his mother said, the president will be visiting your school because they want to build a special park. And Jonathan was excited now. He wanted to meet the president. Now, anybody know who's the president of Guyana? Yeah. Wonderful! Who is the president of Guyana? Ranger. Right. That was literacy advisor attached to the Department of Education Region 6, Ms. Simone Dainty, reading a story on Thursday to the students of the Mount Sinai Nursery School at Angoris Avenue. It was one of a few activities to mark the celebration of International Literacy Day. September 8 was proclaimed International Literacy Day by UNESCO on November 17, 1965. Its aim is to highlight the importance of literacy to individuals, communities, and societies. On International Literacy Day each year, UNESCO reminds the international community of the status of literacy and adult learning globally. Celebrations take place around the world. Some 775 million adults lack minimum literacy skills. One in five adults is still not literate, and two-thirds of them are women. 60.7 million children are out of school and many more attend irregularly or drop out. This year marks the 50th anniversary of International Literacy Day and UNESCO is celebrating it under the banner Reading the Past, Writing the Future. International Literacy Day 2016 celebrates and honors the past five decades of national and international engagement, efforts and progress made to increase literacy rates around the world. It also addresses current challenges and looks to innovative solutions to further boost literacy in the future. We have to crawl through it. No, they got to repeat. So let's crawl now. Let's go. Swish, swish, swish. Come on, let me see you crawling through this grass. Come on. Swish, swish, swish. Come on, crawl through. We got to crawl. Come on, grass. The Department of Education Region 6 also set up reading tents across the region on the day to mark the celebration, one at East Bank Burbis and the other at Angois Avenue, where officials from the Department of Education were present. Ms. Dainty then explained the purpose of the reading tents. All right, so annually, whenever it's World Literacy Day, we would go to different communities and different environments and share books to the residents. Today we are in Timmers Dam, Angoris Avenue. We decided to use this area because oftentimes we don't target this area. So we are targeting here today. We are sharing out books. We have books for adults, books for children. We have school books. We have um, story books, all sorts. And we also have flyers that we are giving to the parents, educating them and sensitizing them about things that they can actually do to help their children at home. We are doing our, our part in promoting literacy. Students of the Vyman's Urban Secondary School in New Amsterdam also joined other schools in the popular Drop Everything and Read activity on International Literacy Day, where from 11 to 11.15 a.m. they stopped all that they were doing to read a book. Ms. Dainty underscored the importance of reading. Well, reading actually, reading cuts across everything, every area. You're doing maths, social studies, science, anything. It's important that you read. Even for adults, reading is important. We have signs that we have to read daily. We go to different offices. There are signs and so on. And so we want to promote reading, not just for children, but also for adults. We want people to understand that reading is very important. And so one of our reasons for being out here today is to remind adults that they too need to read and so we're promoting that. For Channel 8 News, I'm Leon Susan.